AWS is releasing a new tool to help you write code faster and better. Today, we're going to be talking about Amazon Code Whisperer and what it means for you as a developer. So let's get into it. The way we write code has kind of changed over the years. Some of you folks may recognize these, which are punch cards that are used by IBM for data inputs and system instructions. But the tools we use today to write code are very different than what we had 50 years or so ago. Many of us are using IDEs that have very complex and rich functionality, such as auto suggestions, code generation, auto formatting, and the works. And this is where Amazon Code Whisperer comes in. Amazon Code Whisperer is an integrated IDE companion that gives you machine learning trained code suggestions. Now, some of you may be saying, hold on a second, this sounds a little bit familiar. And you'd be right. GitHub a couple years ago came out with GitHub Copilot, and Amazon Code Whisperer seems to be a direct competitor with this. It's not a surprise though that AWS has come out with this type of service. We've seen kind of hints of this over the past with services like Code Guru that was launched in 2020. Now Code Guru gives machine learning trade code suggestions in response to your code reviews, but it's not directly integrated into your IDE as you write code during the development process. And this is what makes Amazon Code Whisperer a little bit different. So in terms of how Code Whisperer works, first you need to install the AWS Toolkit, which is a popular library that's used to add AWS functionality to your IDE. Once you have it installed, you can enable Code Whisperer, which is a new functionality that appears in the toolkit. Once you enable Code Whisperer and as you develop, that information is transferred back to the AWS servers where it's ran through a security scan, a reference tracker, and a bias avoidance engine before suggestions get returned back to you in your developer environment. You can decide to either accept code suggestions or skip them and continue on your way. Now, a cool thing about Code Whisper is that it also takes a look at your comments as well. So it tries to figure out the context in which you're writing your comment to derive the best piece of code to give you as an output. So here's an example of it in action. The user is trying to generate a function that determines if an integer is a prime number. You can see the engine at work giving an intelligent suggestion. And then once it's accepted, here's the function that gets generated as a result. Here's another example of Code Whisper generating code to interact with AWS services. Now, this is a really neat part about Code Whisper, the fact that it can generate all this boilerplate code. I can't tell you how many times I've been trying to integrate with a particular API and you forget the syntax or you forget the parameters. Just describing what you're trying to do with comments in natural language and using Code Whisper to generate the right syntax is invaluable. So it's a really neat feature that I think will help us a lot in that tedious work of generating all that repetitive boilerplate. So another interesting thing about Code Whisper is that it takes into account your coding style. So for example, if you like to use camel case or you have a particular naming convention, Code Whisper will do its best to adhere to those standards. It's neat because not only is it generating the code that you need, but it's also doing so in a style that doesn't require a lot of refactoring. So in terms of the cost and availability of Code Whisper, the cost isn't released yet, but as a benchmark, GitHub Copilot charges around $10 UST a month. So I expect the cost to be something similar. And in terms of availability, Code Whisper is only released in preview mode today. So in order to get onto the beta, you need to sign up with AWS in order to get accepted. I'll leave a link down below to where you can register. And finally, a lot of people ask, is this thing going to replace developers? Do we really need to worry about our jobs as developers and engineers? Not even close. It's a great companion tool that can help you in your development process and just speed things up so that you can move quickly. But other than that, you can sleep easy because this thing isn't replacing any SDE job anytime soon. So let me know what you think about this new feature in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching.